let's go, go, go. No time to be slow. Let's go, go, go. Hold on tight. Red rocks me. Red, it's out of sight. Hey, what's up, KCA? <clears throat> KSI. Excuse me. Godfists. Thank you for the eight month subins. Elspeth, Relic, Fountain, Apparition, Click. This is my first draft of the event. As you can see on the little overlay at the bottom right, Kenji drafts one. Dan Bopes made a pretty awesome little uh, browser source that we can all use that'll update in real time. Uh, the MTG bot will also post in the channel whenever anybody gets a trophy. So since everybody has the MTG bot on their channel, if I get a trophy, it'll post in like um, Luis's or Gabe's or whoever's streaming at the time, their chat that I got a trophy as well. Pretty fantastic. All right. It might be a slow draft, but it'll be a trophy draft. Starting with my roots. Roots, 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 roots. <laughs> Benjamin the Monarch, thank you for the 34 months. J Pro overrated, Caleb unsubstantiated, new mod activated. Aya! Time warp? Swords? Signet? Oh god, it's Nummy off the top ropes! I'm basically the Undertaker. Swords is probably a little bit too good. Take a Mox here. Could also start taking some red cards. <laughs> Kenji, if you want trophies, why don't you just let Mom draft you, big dummy? Uh, I mean, all right, I'll take it. Can't. Oh, I'm gonna take maybe Wrath over Chad. Mm. Do, 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 do. Probe, Pestermite. Don't, don't, don't. All right, I'll stay open. Ooh, damn, can't beat, but that's a super late Arid Mesa. Ah, okay, I'll just take Elspeth. And now another Elspeth. We love fortune there too. Jesus. The Chion is strong. We just need some counters down here. I guess that counts. It is a counter after all. How do I log into my campaign page? <laughs> I'll just log in with Twitter or Facebook or something. I have some work to do? No, not really. I ain't scared. Am I logged in? Okay, I'm logged in. Why does it not say I'm part of the campaign though? Chalice or Misty? I think I'm gonna take the Chalice here. So Jank Mage, thanks for the 20 months. Hey, <laughs> there's a drainy. The beacons are lit. Baby Tef, easy peas. What's up, Chase Foolery? Thank you for the eight month subins. How do I link? Ponder here. Na, na, na. Let's see if that worked. Let's just 
taking the condemn. Sorry, trying to do something real quick. Uh, chart a course or let's take O ring here. What's up, jump man? Thank you for the 14 months sub. Oh, Biddy. Say, hey, thanks, Extinction. Why is this not working? There we go. All right. Now I have the right thing set. <laughs> Kenji, have you considered cheating? <laughs> I did think about it. I'm going to take the signet here over the oust. Commit seems fine. Ooh, monolith? Yeah, monolith over impulse, easy. How do I add my media here? Our image, here we go. There we go. Perfect. Hey, a little ancestral recall. Not bad. Yeah, one second. Do, do, do. I need to make a new link anyways. Dan, I assume what it's going to do is add that uh, the current score is Cuber Heroes, Jim's Team 1, Cube Avengers 3 at the very end, regardless of the message that I add. Is that correct? Obim, thank you for the five month sub. All right, let's try that out. Q for charity. Nice, it does. All right, and let me take that off from night. Perfect. Wouldn't mind picking up a few blue white lands, but. That's looking pretty fantastic. I'm going to take this man of all tier over Pierce or Preordain or Karn, I think. It's not blue white, but. Hey, Zach, thank you for the raid. Yoda for sale, thank you for the five month sub. I think I'm going to take Foff here. Is Academy good in my deck? One, two, three, four, five? Not really. Parallax Wave, do we have a combo with that? Parallax Wave Commit is a combo. Machenk, thank you for the eight month sub. I don't really think we're a Geist deck. It's probably not a bad pickup though. Oh no, dude, Balance and Colonnade? God, balance is so good here as well with all the planeswalkers and all the rocks that I have. Ah, oh, that's so brutal. I'm taking the balance, chat. I'm sorry. I don't even think that's greedy. I don't think one land is going to make a huge difference. Balance is so absurd. ECD is actually kind of nuts here, too. Did I really say Nasif is a handicap? Yeah, clearly. Gotta talk that smack. Damn. That bolt. <laughs> we ain't gonna just show up and demolish him. In before I, I draft 20 times and get one trophy. <laughs> now that's what I like to see. Look at that creature split. Oh wait. That link doesn't have my uh That link doesn't have my link in it though. That has the overall link. 
but I have a I have a specific link. Oops. Or maybe that's the way Dan wants it to be. Maybe that's the only way it'll correctly uh, pull up the info. Yeah, see, the Nightbot one has the correct info, but the... Hmm. Well, I don't know where Dan went, but... Thank you, sir. All right, I need to cut two cards here. <sighs> Really? You want me to cut the wall? I mean, I guess it is awkward with balance. I can see cutting condemn too, because we already have double wrath, O ring, and stuff. All right. Go nine islands. I think. I mean, I have do I have more double white, but it's not not until later. We do want double blue earlier, I think. Plus, our signet's white. Thank you, an actual hee-haw for not only the gifted subs, but the $20 dono uh, for our campaign. SG Jackson with SC or SG Jackson with the 4660. $46.60 says rest in pe uh, rest in power, Elvis. Donating uh, donating his Pokedex number. Thank you. I want the counter spell. I don't want the land, and I don't want the day of judgment. Uh, I think I'm gonna shuffle. Oh boy! Whoo! Whoo! Off the top, like a champion who trophies. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna uptick since they're playing red. Yeah, it started last night. Midnight for uh, central time. <sighs> Thank you, sir. No, Zach doesn't have eight trophies. That's how many drafts he's done. Drafts, and then the trophies that they have are to the right in the columns. Okay, Mindslaver is pretty fantastic here. I mean, that's all they get to do. It's not that bad. But that's certainly a way for them to get back in the game. It's finally fixed! All right, I mean... Am I dead? Right, okay. That's kind of unlucky. Oh God! Hey, Buckethead, thank you for the $20 dono to the charity event. I mean, I imagine if we have the same number of trophies, the tiebreaker would be number of drafts it took.
They're just going to draw Tinker again next turn or something, right? <laughs> oh, baby! Daddy's got a clock! Damn, they have so many artifacts. This balance is actually really bad. I should take it out. It can kill infinite Pestermites with uh, a Teferi on the battlefield, sure. Yeah, probably should bring, bring in Condemn instead of the balance if we go to a game three here. I think it's definitely worth it to take mana vault. Takes away three mana from them and allows us to cast Elspeth next turn. Honestly, I probably don't even want to run out the uh, Elspeth for fear of... Um, For fear of uh, like a mana drain of their own. <laughs> Poor ancestral recall. Oh, I was like, what did, what, what? <laughs> they chained themselves. I don't think I want the condemn though. I think I'd rather just have more interaction like the commit. Do, 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 do. I don't even know if I want to recall myself. I guess I'm, I do, but I'm going to have to discard a lot of cards here. Wait a minute, it's not Christmas anymore. We know they have Chain Lightning, but... If they just play or if they just replay Metal Worker here, I'm gonna consider that pretty much bingo bingo bongo. Oh, they're gonna tinker. Okay. Well, hopefully it's something that I can sword. But I wouldn't be surprised. If, sure, I wouldn't be surprised if they had grabbed like a uh, um monolith there or something, you know. I mean, that's, that's a huge hose. They were mana screwed. They sacked their signet for a hope. Holy crap, I upticked to fairy so I get to instant speed mana tithe or counterspell? Oh my god. Insane. If only I had a Narset in the deck to go along. Um... No, we have Foth in uh, memory, so I think it's okay to keep it. Like, we can just churn through all those cards very fast, very quickly. Oh yeah, it's not over. I have very little pressure. Alright, well, Mana Drain versus nothing. <laughs> so, my guess is what I'm going to do is counter whatever their next play is, and then I have the memory in the graveyard. We 
I guess I could have played the Signet there. Well, we're going to refuel our hand here at the end of turn, so. I was thinking about doing it in response to the monolith and maybe countering it, but. Place the greed. I need to draw another counter. Oh, that's very good, too. That'll work. Yeah, we're definitely just going to fire that off on the monolith. Damn. God, they have some very good cards. Their deck's nice. For sure. So I think the, the card that we're most worried about is just the Mind Slaver. Okay, resolves. I'm not going to untap the Monolith. So I just go uptick Elspeth, ultimate Elspeth, and that's game. That feels like a troll wildfire. Teferi just makes this so, so easy. <laughs> Imagine not winning a die roll. It's a good life. Your deck was good. <laughs> you just stumbled on lands and I had a Teferi. Tempting. Tempting to just sword that, but I have Wrath in hand, so I think I can afford to get a little bit greedy. Jim? No, he'll be streaming. I think he said he's going live soon. I don't know when. You shall not pass. I don't know why I'm countering that when I have a Day of Judgment in my hand. Mainly because I can't uh, cast it until I get this Relic out, which would be one more turn, so it's kind of risky. Oh, another 6 drop. Maybe one we can Fracture. Whoa! Whoa! I was not expecting that. Huh. Very good versus me. Hmm. Cuddle Sutra, thanks for the twenty month sub. A Dave T game. Thank you for the Donation to charity. Carrot, carrot, you say? I 
I mean, the control deck with the bargain is pretty cute as well when I've taken one damage. I have white. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If they if they do something super relevant, I just draw until I find a counter. Okay. Ooh, the cradle. Do. Hey, Hobbsy, thank you for the 73 month sub. Cuddle Sutra, thanks for gifting a sub. Vinny Serlini with that new subscriber. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Hello, friend. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I guess I'm definitely doing this, so. I mean, they already had seven cards in their hand. Like, even if they do like a fat mind twist here, we don't even care, you know? We're in pretty fantastic shape. Sling Gang Lieutenant? That gives them three mana and it makes Ugin non-lethal. I'm debating if I want a sword now and only let them gain one life. I kind of like it. It also takes away a, a mana from them. It's it's a weird play, but really, I just want to find mana drain. They went to two. Pog champ. Pog champ. They went to two. Let's see if we can find tithe. Is that right? Yeah, bargain's only as good as the cards in your deck. My deck is quite good. They discarded a finale and a pod. A pog. <laughs> Force and a blue card incoming. Eight mana bolt. Welcome to the eight mana bolt. I think I might cut the tithe on the draw. Especially when they have a lot of fast mana. Again, I'm a little bit tempted to keep it because of this. That's a lot better. I'm actually going to pitch the Condemn here. Do you know why? Because there is most definitely, 100% certainly, Gideon. And by Gideon, I mean Ugin on top somewhere. Maybe they just concede. Who knows? Okay, they mulligan to five. All right, well, I wasn't going to run out Relic until I drew Elspeth, because now I can Elspeth next turn. No, this is the second. So this makes it so they don't have to pay two to get two lands this turn. But I think we just want to protect the Elspeth. Unfortunately, I don't get to go to Fairy and hold up Counterspell. Uh, but... Eric, okay.
Hmm. Yeah, Elspeth next turn is kind of juicy. Oh my gosh, Drago Knight, $50 dono. Thank you to the campaign charity. Pooping out a token lets them flip their Garrick, but I think that's okay. Now, I might have to counterspell something this turn, which means I won't get to Elspeth. For example. <laughs> But now what we get to do is we get to play Teferi, bounce the wolf, draw the chalice, make a token. Now they can't fight this, and so they can't uh, kill the Teferi without having something else. Yeah. yeah. Now, I think if they do attack the Teferi, I might even just let it die. Right, so that I can Elspeth kill the Garrick. I think this makes a lot of sense. Sure. Double mommies. Double mommy. No, oh, or my lant. Oh, my lanta. Oh, Jesus, chat. Well, we're making balance better. God, I kind of want to keep the Teferi. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is pitch planes, mana tithe. Go turn one ponder, hope to find a blue source. Turn two, maybe mana drain if we get lucky, and then to fairy turn three. Ooh, I wish I had kept the tithe. Well, they kind of undid a mulligan though, so that's nice. Get wall of omens, banishing light, parallax, condemn. Maybe even Pester. We have a lot of good sideboard cards. Uh, I think I need to shuffle. The balance is really, really, really good, but... The two other cards are kind of dead, and I really need a second blue. Well, they wouldn't see the balance coming, because I would draw it. Oh my god, we reshuffled Ugin to the top? Come on, deck. That might just kill us right there. Island this turn, I think we probably have a small chance. As it stands, this especially on the draw. Okay, there's the island. I mean, now I actually we uh, want to redraw the balance as bad as it is for me. They didn't play anything either. I mean, I'm still going down to six life here. Slam Hell Rider, maybe have a chance. Mana Vault on top? Okay. Yeah, they're not running into counter magic. I mean, unless they have four lands in their hand, we're just going to get burnt. And then GG'd. Also, the Mana Vault is a pretty huge liability here now, too. 
Yep. I mean, I guess they're still probably going to kill the Teferi. Okay. So I'm going to go down to 5. I'm going to Fracture the Hero. That might give us a small chance. Mm, tapping too quickly here. Don't like it. Or rather, they're choosing to cast a spell too quickly here. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Sure. So the good news here is that I didn't steal their creature. It was a token of that creature. So they're not going to get that back later. <laughs> I mean, they don't have any burn in their hand. We know that. Like, if they just now attack for two pass, we can win. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's nothing underneath the wave. So I have to ECD here, get rid of the parallax wave. Play Relic, Day of Judgment. They're redrawing their Adanto this turn. Ugin doesn't work. Because of the wave, they can just eat their uh, Goblin Guide, then remove uh, two more counters with it on the stack. Okay, well that doesn't do anything. They just time walked, so we might actually pull this one off now. Holy crap. We get big to ferry back next turn. Oh my god, are we gonna win? No, we can't minus four. That doesn't work. I minus four, they hold control, parallax wave their goblin guide three times. The goblin guide goes underneath the parallax wave. Minus four then kills the parallax wave, the goblin guide comes back. Or yeah, they don't even need to stack it, all right. Okay, so they have that and a Vanguard in their hand. Oh my god, I punted by not activating the Relic in response. <laughs> not that it mattered, I still had extra mana to counterspell if they did do something, but... Do I have to tuck? No. I am going to tuck though. And the reason is I would like to hard cast Ugin. And then be able to uptick. Because if, if I can gain 7 life here, that's going to be game. They have a Danto Vanguard and 3 unknown cards. Nothing right now. So I think we just have to let this resolve though, and then probably Ugin minus two. Okay, well now we're gonna definitely Ugin minus two. This is game one, yeah. That resolves. Sure. Yeah, I could be dead to a bunch of things here, I mean... It's the last card in their hand. Baby has been held. I 
I'm sure one of uh, us is going to get paired with one another eventually. The worst case scenario is if you're paired versus your own teammate. That's worst case scenario. Alright, I have to make sure I don't deck myself. Balance not looking too hot here. I guess I should be running all of these out for balance purposes and whatnot. Don't we lose to Monolith? What? To Vault? No, we don't. Give him down to 12, 3, 6, 9. I guess I'd rather just look for mana. Oh no, we already used mana drain. Whoops. That's true. I can't deck as long as yeah. Well, Ugin life gain I can't actually use because I only have seven cards left. Commit to memory is a sideboard card, not main. Yeah, next turn I can draw down to six per turn. Tuck the Teferi, Ugin Ultimate. Damage. Easy damage. Yeah. It's a quick kill. I mean, I could technically minus little Tef, realize my mistake, and then replay the Teferi that I just drew and retuck again. Easy clap. Oh my, back from the grave. Not even close. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm actually cutting Fractured, but it's kind of bad versus them. I wonder if Ugin's too slow. Yeah, Pestermite's not awful. I have a lot of enough. Already, I have enough fast mana to keep the Ugin. <laughs> but how do you win, streamer? I think Mana Tithe is still good versus them. I might cut like one fast mana. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm never cutting counter spell or mana drain. Is Parallax Wave good enough here? Yeah, I just brought it in. I think it's great. Parallax Wave buys a ton of time. Well, when in doubt, chat, 41 cards, clearly. This just makes mulliganing to balance better. This is just going to kill him with a fast Elspeth. Uh-oh, speaking of fast. 
E. Ugh. Chopper is going to be a problem, especially when they play their Relic Order. Oh, God. Need to draw, like, O-Ring for that thing. Condemn would be very good, too. Discarding Hero! Ah! <laughs> taking seven, no big deal. Just taking eight, no big deal. <sighs> yeah, if actually, if I can draw an untapped blue source to go balance plus hold up drain, we're going to be in an okay position, I think. All right. So I'm going to have to discard two cards, though. I mean, maybe it's just better to Wrath here. If I sack a Plains, I can't play Elspeth. Oh, also, they're going to be left with a token from this. Ah. I guess maybe I'm tapping the vault. That's also pretty loose. It's possible that Elspeth's not even good enough anymore, you know? Versus the copter. I don't want to tap the vault is the issue. So I think I'm going to balance here. Pitch Elspeth Wrath. Hold up Drain. I have a land drop? Sure, but if I balance with three lands, I have to sack a land anyways. ECD doesn't hit two drops. I don't think Wrathing here is just better. Wrath either means I have to tap my mana vault, or I just Wrath and just lose to the copter anyways. So now maybe like draw Ugin here and I have a chance. Right, but then I'm not holding up Mana Drain. <laughs> The whole point is I wanted a Wrath and hold up Mana Drain without using the Vault. Alright. Well, basically all we need to do is draw Swords or Condemn for that kind of start. What if I play Elspeth? Then I lose to the Copter still. That doesn't... There's no way they're attacking with the Tithe Taker into 3 1 ones. Alright, I just need to draw any of my payoff cards now. Teferi? 5 mana Teferi? All ramp, no pamp, but at least I have multiple ways to interact, so that's good. In before they have wear and tear to kill light and one of my artifacts. Worst day ever. Sure. Joke's on you! I don't even need that. I really don't need that. Come on, deck. I didn't take out Foth, did I? No. Foth. 
find condemn target. Balance would also be fine. Any action, please? Did they mulligan? I don't think they did. How many cards do they have? Four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe they did mulligan. I need to save Banishing Light for the Planeswalkers and stuff we saw, but we can condemn the Adanto. Wait, you know what's in my deck? Ancestral Recall. How about we draw Ancestral? And then go from there. Come on, deck! Ugin! I mean, that's not a bad draw. Not at all. I'm gonna wait one turn on the Banishing Light. Yeah, yeah, we've drawn all of our mana sources, basically. It's okay, though. We still have a little bit of time. The biggest issue now is that I think I might have to Banishing Light the Spirit because I have two Wrath in the deck. Balance doesn't, but I have two Wraths. Barely. I think I could probably block the Legionnaire one more turn if I wanted to. I'm actually glad they sacked, because now if we Migan, uh, Migan, Ugin minus. I guess that doesn't work. Never mind. We're just going to Ugin uptick on Lodestone since it's an artifact, anyways. <sighs> Come on, deck! Please! Okay, that's not a bad hit. At all. The goddamn start. Oh boy, I am dropping frames now. Great. Yeah, Comcast knows whenever I'm doing some specialty stream, 24 hour or charity event. He upgraded too. Mm. Did you ever call them back? Mm, no, they didn't call. Or yeah, yes, they didn't call back. I'm not dropping too many, but I am dropping some. Hopefully, it's it's just one of those minor blips. Yeah, it looks like it's stabilized already again. Okay. I wonder if it was the. Uh, I wonder if it was the. Uh, the ring thing. Okay, Ancestral, or Foff, or Ugin, or lots of good hits here. Another Planeswalker would be fantastic. They get to exile my Mana Tithe or my Condemn permanently, that's fine. I need to draw something here though, they still have too many threats on the battlefield. <laughs> oh! Is the comeback real? Hot damn. And that, my friends, is why we get rid of the selfless spirit. Okay, that does turn off Elspeth, but the damage is already done, and now we have a ton of time again, is my guess. <sighs> I mean, 
I did have to have some t pretty terrible draws first, which, yeah. <laughs> Uh. Okay, it looks like they just drew an inspiring advantage for the turn, though. Right, but I mean, I can just chump block the spires for quite some time. Like, yes, I could triple block to kill it, but I think it's just better to single block, single block, single block. Come on, card draw! There it is. Ponder into the nuts. This is where we turn around and win. <sighs> God, I want the swords, but knowing that I'm going to... <sighs> is this good? That turns my Elspeth back online, who would ult the following turn, but then two lands afterwards is so bad. I think turning on Elspeth, though, has got to be worth it. Well, also I can like ultimate uh, Elspeth next turn. Or they get flying and plus two plus two. Ugh. Is that her own the token or an emblem? It's an emblem that makes all my creatures chonky. Nice. I mean, I don't think I wait a turn though. No way, I just put him on a two-turn clock by doing this. Booyah! Let's go, baby. Wow. One for one. Yay!